Hey guys, welcome back to the second to last board of Mario Party 1. This time we're going to play Bowser's Magma Mountain. And um, the characters that we'll be playing in this board are going to be Yoshi. Let's see, Yoshi, Luigi, Donkey Kong, and Wario. So, and then of course we're going to have the level as easy, normal, and hard as normal, as usual. And um, those are the four characters that have the lower scores from the last from the last board. So they're gonna play in this board, and the top two here are gonna go to the last board. So we'll see. Um, this board itself, it's it's okay. It's fairly straightforward. It has a very consistent line. Going to with a few shortcuts. Um, the only thing I don't like about this board is the roulette thing. You, the, the fact that every single time you want to take a shortcut or you're gonna approach Bowser, you have to, you know, take you have to take a roll on the dice to see if you are allowed to go to the shortcut or you're gonna just stay on the normal path. So. And this time I'm going to go last. And that's actually good because I get to go, you know, this is the first time I've actually been last. So, Toad is going to be there. And Toad does move on this board. So, yeah, this board is, it, it's okay. I think, you know, it's not the best board on, for me, but it's not the worst either. You know, I think the Eternal Star board is actually worse than this, you know. I think uh, there's one particular spot in the, on this board where Toad ends up that's kind of tricky, I guess, maybe. We'll have to see if it comes up, though. First game we're going to play is Bombs Away, so let's see. Yeah, we played this one before. <laughs> so anyways, um, today I guess I'll just talk about the board. And I've already started to do that, and, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Not much happening on this game yet, so far. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I missed that. Uh, so, sometimes the bombs are a little bit glitchy on this game. I don't know why. It's Sometimes, you know, that one time I was so close. I think it was on another board. I was so close to hitting it, I didn't fly off. But this time I got close enough to hit it. I don't know. It's just really... A little bit weird. You know, we, but yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to talk about the hack. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the voice, I guess. Oh, and the one thing about the shortcuts, you have to pay 10 coins if you're going to take it. With the exception of the roulette right next to Bowser. So, if you don't take... If you miss it, then... Uh, if you miss the roulette wheel, then you, you lose your 10 coins. And you don't get the sh shortcut, so... Looks like all these <laughs> players are going to do that. And miss. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's beneficial to take a shortcut, sometimes it's not. It's just a warp block now, let's see. <laughs> so Luigi moved one square, and Wario moved back one square. Great. And then, uh, okay, so first I'll talk about the hack. Um, it's done, for right now, at least the beta version. And I missed too. <laughs> okay. Um, but the hack is done. Um, let's see, the Great Hunt Offensive Part One. Face lift is the next game. Um, but yeah, it's done for the third time. <laughs> it's it's on my channel. You know, there's there's a link onto I think my last video that I actually did to download it if you want to try it out. And there's there's 101 exits. It's not. I hope though it works. I haven't heard it from anybody yet. So I think either either it's okay or nobody's downloaded yet, so it's 
fine. It's fine. This, 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 uh, facelift, or, I mean, this facelift game right here, the, I mean, the face itself is actually one of the easiest. You just have to stretch it that way. Um, there's something else I wanted to say about that hack. Yeah, I'm just looking, looking to see who's gonna test it, and if they, if they test it, what kind of things are they gonna, you know, say is right or wrong about it. But anyways, and then, um, I'm gonna start my next hack, you know. I'm actually gonna do, I think, uh, I think it's super, one of Super Wii Dude's, one, uh, hacks. I think it's called Mario's Amazing Adventure. It's been a while since I played that one, and, um, I actually really like that one. Oh, this is the first question mark square, and, um, on this board, the question, all the question mark squares turn every blue square, normal blue square, into a red square. So, it doesn't count the mushrooms or the uh, exclamation points or the mini games. So, any normal blue square will turn into red. And this is the first two versus two, and bomb skip all. Actually, I don't think we played bomb skip all yet. There's a lot of two versus two that are still left in this game, so, um, in this game, the, the secret, I guess, is to, I don't know, really know what this, just try to steal the ball when you don't have it, and when you do have it, try to run for the, the Bowser head. No. Try not to take too long, because then the computer started getting better, you know. I got really lucky right there, because Luigi stole, right? Even though he's like on easy, even if you have easy completers, you can still win. And so um, it, there's not that much to this game, but you know sometimes it's kind of frustrating because sometimes they don't do what I mean the computers don't do exactly what you want them to do. So you kind of say like, why did you do that? You know. So so yeah. Gonna continue on and yeah, there hasn't been that many two versus two mini games though this whole entire time. So um, I don't know why Luigi's going up. Let's see what happens. Oh, about <laughs> well, that's good for him because he he shouldn't have gone up that way the first time though. Oh, and by the way, the question marks, if, if it's, if the blue squares are already red, the question mark squares don't do anything, so. Anyways, uh, then now I'm going to talk about the voice from yesterday really quickly. I'm not, not going to mention that much about it, but um, it was, it, it was a pretty good show last night. Um, I don't think there was anybody that was really that amazing. But there wasn't anybody like that terrible either, you know, so. You know, I think uh, for the worst, for me, you know, I have to say there were eight people that performed tonight, uh, last night, and uh, Christina, Christina's team and Blake's team were the, were up, and then Adam and Silos will be next week, and there's a the treasure box right there. <laughs> We were all going the wrong direction the first time around. But yeah, um, I just feel like Blake's team is not really that great to me. You know, I think you know, he has the two guys. You know, one of them is like a rocker. I think, I think, I think Jared is his name. I don't can't remember. He did uh, Kings of Leon. You know, I don't really like Kings of Leon. But, you know, I think for him, that's the kind of style that kind of suits him. So I, I didn't have a problem with it. The other guy, the country guy, he sounded, he sounded alright. You know, I didn't... Oh, I got the star, thank goodness. Everyone's closing in on that star, so... Good to get the first star out of the way. So now, where's Toe gonna end up? All the way down, <laughs> all the way down there, of course. Yeah, so 
Uh, it's gonna be a while until somebody hits, hits that. And then we're gonna play Ghost Guess. Oh, okay. This one is not that easy to end. Sometimes I screw up on it, but, you know... It's easier than... Uh, it's easier than those rotating games, you know? Where you have to spin the controller around... I mean, you spin the control stick around. It's just too much work. Right now I'm trying to decipher which one. Oh. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah. <laughs> I messed up there. But yeah, um... You have the country guy, he sang Leon Womack. You know, I think I'm just getting tired of hearing people sing that song. You know, every every competition somebody sings it. So I think it's time for somebody else to sing it now. Deep Sea Divers, another, another game that we haven't played before. And, um... The key to this one is if it's better to be the divers than the actual rotators. For me, the the computers as the rotators, they'll just do the work for you. They'll really do the work, you know. But you know, if you have an easy computer, the guy waits a couple seconds and then you know starts moving, you know. And then uh, it's just. Like, he doesn't do the right thing that he was... Nothing seems to be ha- Oh my gosh, I, me I messed up. <laughs> God. Yeah, the, the easy computers are really stupid. They just- Why is he not going? Oh wait, I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, the easy computers are like really dumb. They wait a couple of seconds to move, and then, you know, those couple seconds are the difference between getting the biggest chest in the bottom of the, of the sea, and the ones getting at the top of the sea, you know, so, you know, the ones at the very bottom are like, 10, you know, so, that's the big difference between 16, I mean, it's a big difference between getting 16 or 11, I don't know why I'm messing up so badly here, <laughs> supposed to be good at this game, but not, I'm not, no. I'm probably going to end the video right about here, so um, I'll just wait till the next video to talk about the voice, and I keep forgetting to rotate the <laughs> control. Yeah, um, so that's pretty much it for, that's pretty much it for this video, so.